Hi, Peter Charles here for to Life Fly Fishing. And today we're going to tie a fly that is uh, from our area instead of the West Coast. It's uh, called a catnip and it was tied by Rick Kustich, who is from uh, Western New York. Now Rick comes up and uh, fishes our uh, rivers occasionally, plus he's attended our spay claves. So it's nice to tie a fly uh, from somebody I know. So this is going to be kind of cool. Uh, the idea behind the catnip is to have this little bright spot coming through the water uh, to attract fish on those cloudy days, and it uses UV material. And I want to talk about UV material a little bit because I don't think it's always that well understood. How this material works is it reflects UV light back out as a lower frequency, so yellow, for example, or orange. So if I use this UV torch on here, you'll notice how the UV material glows, but the material that's not UV, like the wing and the hackle, they don't glow. But the body and the head, which is UV uh, material, that really, really glows. So on a cloudy day, overcast day, this thing comes through the water like a little hot spot. Um, there's a number of ways to tie it. Uh, you can use um, you know, some like seal fur. This is SLF. Um, you could also use this uh, fluorescent orange that I have here. This is like a, a fire orange yarn, and you can see that's pretty hot too. So you could use that as well. But as long as your body material and your, um, your thread is fluorescent, I mean, it's going to work really well for you. Just don't tie it with the material that's not fluorescent. Okay, for the material, we have uh, a Mustad Salmon Single in a size 6. This is a relatively small fly, so we don't want it too large. Our thread is a UTC uh, fluorescent fire orange. Our tag is a small silver oval. Our body is going to be fluorescent uh, orange in SLF. Our hackle is uh, Hoffman uh, Chickaboo. Uh, you could use pretty well any uh, dyed orange uh, hen hackle, but the, the uh, Chickaboo's feather is extremely soft. It's lovely to work with. So if you could find one of these, yeah, they're great. And the wing is yellow calftail. So let's get started with our fire orange thread. And now for the tag. Get that out of the way. Try to avoid having too much orange show through. I'm getting touching turns. What I find helpful with SLF is to have uh, something wet. I have a wet sponge here. I have dry fingers, but if I had like normal level of skin oils, I probably wouldn't need the water. But if you're finding the SLF is not cooperating for you, uh, wet your fingers and don't lick them. That's a good way to end up with a very nasty bug and end up in hospital. Trust me on that one. If you're not used to putting on dubbing, only twist in one direction. Don't twist back and forth. That will just cause it to be loose. And if you see a thin spot like right there, just add a bit of material. Now we'll put this on. Cram it in there. We want a you know, reasonably substantial body. We want this to show. Now you'll see right here at the front, I've got a lot of the SLF is folded forward. This stuff is quite spiky, so what I like to do is push that back and put a few extra wraps to hold everything. And if I've got a few strays, I'll wrap over them so they're out of the way. Good. Now for the hackle. Now we fold the barbs over. Pinch them against the quill. This is why I love this material, this chickaboo hen, because this stuff folds so well. 
and wraps on so well. And lastly, for our calf tail. Don't take off a big clump. This is not a big wing. As with bucktail, you want to get rid of the short stuff. Grab it by the tips and pull the short stuff out. And if you see any bits that are kind of wild, get rid of them. Now we're going to put this wing a little less than the length of the hook, just a bit past the body. Check to make sure it's level. And whip finish. Now you're looking at that big head and you're saying, wow, that's kind of a big head for a little fly. But that's part of the point of this fly. You want it to glow, you want it to show. And that big head is going to do that job for you. So, give it a try. The Rick Kustich catnip. It flows cloudy days when uh, the, the, air, the light is very, very blue. And this thing is just going to shine in the water. And it's just going to be so bright and it'll just stand right out. And it's a small pattern and it's a great to fish over... Um, a water that's been heavily pressured and the fish won't rise or take a larger fly. So give it a try, the catnip. Cheers.